Hi, this is PDF Bergzerg Arcade at bergzergarcade.com and this is tutorial 171. So let's pick up where we left off in our last tutorial. I'm going to go ahead and open up Unity. And I'm on the character customization scene. And we start off, if we were just to start this up, uh, I have my little character here standing in the middle. Uh, there's no way to really interact with him yet. Uh, but I'm not going to want to start with the character in the middle already. Uh, we're going to do uh, just like we did in the equipment test or the changing room scene depending what you called it uh, I'm going to delete it and I'm going to create a empty game object and let's just zero this out I guess it helps if I switch over to the game view or sorry the scene view and I'll just go ahead and zero this out we'll just zoom in and I just want to get this positioned right on top of my platform. And let's just put it dead center. That looks pretty good. And of course I'll change it to character mount. Now let's go ahead and make a couple of prefabs, but let's put them in our resource folder. Uh, we probably actually already have the prefabs made. Uh, let me just quickly check here. Uh, my player models. I have my fat model and I have my muscular model. These are actually the prefabs that I want to get a hold of. It's a little bizarre if you look over at the preview how the muscular model zooms away. Ah, it's position. Uh, reset position. Nope, that wasn't it. Anyway, uh, I want to be able to have these prefabs in my resources folder, so I'm just going to highlight them both. And I'm going to drag them down to my resources folder. And I'll open up my resources folder. I'm going to close my item window, or the item folder. And I'm going to create a new folder. And I'm going to call it character models. Now, as I said before, I'm probably going to be putting pretty much everything in my resources folder now. After, you know, testing it for the last few weeks, I think resources is probably the better way to go for us. But we talked about that during one of the live shows. So let's just go ahead and implement it. And after I created a folder for character models, uh, you could break it down even further into male models female models. Now I don't have any female models, at least not yet. But if you do, you'll basically build any hierarchy you want here. Now I'm going to take my fat male and drag him in there. And I don't even really need to call him fat male anymore since he's in the male folder. And we have the muscular male. I'm going to put him up here. And of course, I'm going to change his name now too because I don't need to know that he's a male on the prefab. Of course, you can keep calling it that or whatever you're currently calling it. Uh, I'm just going to see what else I have in here my items and my particles. So I'll close that down. And let's go ahead and create a script. Now I'm going to create the script on our character mount. So let's just go to our scripting folder. And I'm just going to right click, make sure I have it selected, right click, create script, and let's do a C sharp script. And we get the new model behavior down here. Let's go ahead and call it um, player model customization. And I'm actually just going to cut and paste that name right into Mono Develop. So we double click, open it up in Mono Develop. And I'll just paste that in. And we'll just close some of these down. We don't need these. And I'm going to take this script, drag it onto my character mount. And it may not have been compiled yet. Uh, sometimes it takes a while. Let's try it again. There we go. And in case people are wondering, 
you know, there's two ways you can add a, a script to a game object. Uh, one, as you see, is I just dragged it over here, and the first way I did it was to try to drag it and drop it on. Either way works. I would find dragging it off to the side just gives me a bigger target. All right, so let's open it back up. And I want to create a list of uh, strings for the name of all the different models I have. So right now, I only have two. But I'm going to make them private string. And I'm just going to call it PC models. Actually, let's make it public so we can use this in the inspector. I'll just save that off. Let's go right back into Unity. And once it recompiles, we have it available right here. So I'm going to create a size of two. And we'll just call it whatever we called our actual models. And they're fat and muscular. It might have been better off actually leaving the male part on there now that I look at it, but that's why we uh, continue to learn. So I'll save those off. I'm going to go back into Mono Develop. And now that I think of it, since I've actually gone ahead and created a male and female folder, we really should have some uh, way to differentiate what model we want to load up. So I'm actually going to change this a bit. Instead of saying models, PC models, I'm going to say male models. And I'll do the exact same thing for female models. And I'll just throw a couple cubes or something in there. And female models. <laughs> Wrong male. And we'll just quickly save that off. I'm going to have to redo this part because the name of the variable changed. But there we go. Uh, model models. Uh, this I haven't fully recovered from the flu yet. This I'm going to blame it on this time anyway. And there we go. Mail models. Size 2. And we'll just take the fat one by default. Now, uh, I believe capitalization counts, so make sure you have it spelled exactly right. And I'll make a couple of female models too, or at least prefabs for them. So I'll close this down. I'm going to create a prefab. And I'll just call it hot cube. I'll duplicate it. And let's see what other primitive we have up here. Anything new? Uh, we have cube, sphere, capsule, cylinder, plane. Uh, I guess we'll just do a cylinder. And we'll just call it tall chick. All right, so let's go ahead and actually create those prefabs. So I'm going to go ahead and add my cube. Now, its pivot point is not going to be the exact same spot that we have our pivot points for for our, our other models, our, our male models. But that's okay. Well, we'll work with that a little bit later on. Uh, for now, I'm just going to take uh, the cube and put it on hot cube. Uh, let me quickly look at our model, see if there's anything else we have attached. We do have the player character script attached. And we will need that for our, our mount spots. So I'm actually going to add that to our hot cube as well. And I'm not sure if you can actually add it this way through uh, the component menu, but let's try it. And it looks like you can. Now I actually don't have any mount pot spots set up. Uh, I'll probably have to set them up. I'll do it behind the scenes because uh, we've already know we've already seen several times how to set up mount points. But let's get rid of that hot cube. And the other one was tall chick, so that was a cylinder. Uh, <laughs> okay. Uh, now let's go ahead and add the the script to it now. 
And again, later on, I'll add the uh, mount points to it. But for now, let's just take it, put it into uh, our tall chick prefab. And we'll get rid of that. Great, so right now we've got two male models and two female models. Now let's make sure we have the proper names for our females. And the first one's Hot Chick, or Hot Cube. And the second one's Tall Chick. Just double check, make sure spelling's right. And if you really want to make sure, you can always just cut and paste the names, which is probably a better idea considering how many typos I usually make, but I'm pretty sure I can spell tall chick. All right, so I'm just going to save the project off. I'm going to come back into Mono Develop, and I'm just going to take a look here to make sure that I have something in each of these arrays. So I'm just going to say if male models dot length is less than one uh, debug dot log warning we have no male models now of course if you only have one sex like I do let you can probably comment a lot of this stuff out but for the people that actually do have more than uh, one gender of models uh, I'll put this in for you and we'll also check to make sure that we have uh, female models which is the exact same as this except the variable changes and a little bit of the debug we just stick a fee in front of the male and same thing here so let's head back into unity and let's create a three-dimensional uh, GUI element that allows us to actually change the sex of our character I don't really have any models for it, but I did manage to find a couple of free textures that I could use. So what I'm going to do in lieu of actually having a 3D model for the male and female gender symbols, I'm just actually going to create a cube. Well, let's be a little more fancy. Let's try a capsule. And I'll just paste that. Actually, no, I think a capsule is going to warp it too much. I'm going to go back to a cube. So I'm going to go ahead, create game object, uh, create other cube. I'm actually going to place this off to the side a bit, uh, right about here. And I'm just going to call this, if I spell it right, gender changer. And let's go into my art assets, down to textures. There's my two little gender icons. I haven't actually done anything with these. Um, I'm just going to shrink them down a bit. And I'll do the male as well. And I'm going to create another material in here. And I'm just going to call this one the... Well, gender changer material. And I'm going to take this and if we select our cube that we've got set up, I'm going to drag that on, cover up the old default diffuse. And if you just click on it, you'll have this exposed. I'm going to start off with the male. So I'll just put that there. And let's look at it as a cube. And we can see it off to the side there. I'm actually going to rotate it a bit. Uh, let's rotate this way towards the camera. And it's actually upside down as well. So let me zoom in on it. Well, if we just keep rotating, we'll get one that's upside right. So let me look at it in the game view. Uh, you can't see it in the game view, so I'm going to separate these two so I can actually see both again. I'm going to attempt to separate these so I can see both again. Alright, so let's move this. And I want to move it pretty much directly left, so I'm going to go on to local. I guess it is global. 
and we'll just drag it over a bit and I want to rotate it just a little bit more towards the camera okay and it doesn't look very cool with the, all the black in the background so I'm actually going to change the material type as well uh, let's make it transparent actually did we get a, tr a self illuminated transparency we do not there uh, that's fine we'll just stick with the uh, regular diffuse transparent there we go so even though it is a three-dimensional object it doesn't look like it now we are seeing a little bit up at the top here uh, so all we have to do really to get rid of that is just rotate it a bit more there we go and that looks fine and if I were to try the female one on there whoops I accidentally clicked off it looks fine as well in this perspective it's probably actually a little bit big but we'll get into scale a little bit later I do want to start with males default actually the scale is going to bother me let's let's do that now you don't want it too small There we go. That, that's pretty good. Doesn't have to be perfect. It'd be better if we had an actual 3D model, but I don't. If anyone wants to craft one up, I'll go ahead and add it. But there we go. We have that. And it actually looks like we're way over 10 minutes already. So before I start getting into coding any of these, uh, I'm going to end this one here and uh, we'll pick it up in the next tutorial. Bye bye.